Yeah, g'day, this is Corey and welcome back to the build. Here I'm just leveling off my rosewood body and I had this bright idea to shoot all the dust out the door but that didn't really work. So I'll put that down for experience. I screwed the template down because, I don't know, just more secure. And these holes are going to be covered up with the top anyway, so that's my thinking behind it. And then I get the body as close to the template as I can and take it over and route it out. Anyone who knows me knows that I used to use a lot of pine in my builds. So when you use the router, it'd leave an indentation where the bearing ran across it. So this is just held over from that period. This here is another piece of kit that I got recently. Before I'd just use the belt sander to do the curves and then rely on the hand sander to level it all out. But yeah, I really like this bobbin sander as well. I like to put bevels on my builds because they're a lot easier to sand and if I don't have to sand so much, all the better. Drill the jack hole before you make a cavity you'll get a nice clean cut then this build has two output jacks and i've got to film drilling the other one i cut all the scarf joints now to save abusing my bandsaw later I 
I glue the scarf joints together and I also glue the rest of the neck together but my phone ended up dying because of the heat so you'll just have to take my word for it and what I did was I reversed the laminations on the scarf joint I thought that would look cool and hopefully when I carve it it does After letting it sit for a day, I take it over to the joiner and plane her all flat. Anytime there's a number plate now, I'm just going to put a piece of my merch up. Links in the description. Um, the backpacks look pretty cool if I do say so myself. Next up is glue on the scarf joint. I did cut a 10 degree angle in this to start off with. I'm not sure what it's ended up at now. Cleaning up the glue, here's a little Texas Toast trick. Get some warm water and a toothbrush, scrub down all the bits of glue and then I use a baby wipe to clean it up after that. Now to the boring stuff. You basically do this to save the life of your router. You take away as much material as you can so the router doesn't have to work as hard. That'll do it for this instalment. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. Tell your mum about it. I'm sure she'll like it. Anyway, catch up.